Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Wednesday, September 20th, 2017. Well, it's going to be a windy day out there. If you're along the coast, it's going to be rather cloudy as well as Tropical Storm Jose lingers off of the New England coast. Now, Jose will not be moving back towards our region, but will be hanging around over the coastal waters for the next several days. And that's going to keep some windy conditions in place and some variable cloud cover, especially right along the coast. So for today, right now, we have temperatures in the lower to mid 70s throughout much of the region with winds from the north and northwest around 10 to 20 miles per hour with gusts over 25 miles per hour at times, especially right along the coast. We should see temperatures rise into the mid to upper 70s along the immediate coast due to some of that cloud cover. Meanwhile, as you head towards the Delaware River Valley, temperatures will rise into the lower to mid 80s in a rather tropical air mass in place. On the radar, again, pretty much high and dry. Can't rule out an isolated shower right along the coast. All your steady heavy rain will remain just south and east of Long Island and remain so. But again, can't rule out some of these really far out outer bands of Jose possibly rotating through portions of eastern Connecticut, Long Island, and coastal New Jersey producing a stray isolated shower, otherwise scattered to broken cloud covers expected throughout the region. Now on the infrared satellite picture you can see Jose sitting out here and what's basically going to happen is that Jose is going to sit over some very cold waters relatively over the coastal waters of New England and the northern Atlantic. And that's going to lead to Jose gradually weakening, but also transitioning into what we call an extratropical low pressure system, basically cold core. So what that essentially will do is that allow this storm to meander and sit to the south here and produce what we call pressure gradient, leading to a constant north to northwesterly wind. Now again, the precipitation or the rain shield will remain off the coast, so we're looking at scattered cloud cover to broken cloud cover throughout this entire week into the rest of this weekend. But watch out for those winds as they will gust over 25 miles per hour at times, especially along the coast. So let's dive into this forecast. For today, scattered cloud cover can't rule out an isolated shower along the coast. Look for highs in the mid to upper 70s along the coast and lower to mid 80s in the Delaware River Valley. For tonight through early tomorrow morning, look for winds again from the northwest around 10 to 20 miles per hour, lows in the mid to upper 60s. Tomorrow afternoon, scattered to broken cloud cover, winds from the northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour, lows in the lower to mid 60s, highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s along the coast, and lower to mid 80s in the Delaware River Valley. On Friday, scattered cloud cover is expected again with a north to northwesterly wind around 10 to 20 miles per hour. Look for lows in the mid 60s, highs in the mid to upper 70s along the coast, and upper 70s to lower 80s in the Delaware River Valley. On Saturday, high pressures in control, our low pressure system continue to remain off the coast. Look for scattered cloud cover and isolated showers possible right along the immediate coast. But other than that, look for scattered broken cloud cover and dry conditions. Temperatures will range from the lower to mid 60s for lows and upper 70s to lower 80s along the coast and lower to mid 80s in the Delaware River Valley for highs. On Sunday, pretty much the same pattern. High pressure over the Great Lakes, low pressure off the coast, and that means a nice northerly wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour on Sunday with lows in the mid 60s, highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s along the coast, lower to mid 80s in the Delaware River Valley. On Monday, that low pressure system still sticking around. We're going to keep a very careful eye on Hurricane Maria, meanwhile, off of the southern mid-Atlantic coast to the southeast of North Carolina. Look for scattered cloud cover for the most part, with lows in the mid to upper 60s, highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s along the coast, and lower to mid 80s in the Delaware River Valley. On Tuesday, Maria gets closer, the remnants of Jose starts to collapse, and the high pressure system gives way. Look for increasing clouds with lows in the mid to upper 60s, highs in the mid to upper 70s along the coast, upper 70s to lower 80s in the Delaware River Valley. And on Wednesday, this is going to be a very tricky situation. Now you got Maria, that's going to be off the coast. How far off the coast is still a bit unknown. Meanwhile, we have a cold front that's going to be approaching from the west. One thing's for sure, there will be scattered showers throughout the region, possibly heavy rain and windy conditions as well, depending just how close Maria gets by the time we get to Wednesday. 
Look for lows in the mid to upper 60s, highs in the mid to upper 70s along the coast, upper 70s to lower 80s in the Delaware River Valley. Obviously, if Maria is much closer than this current forecast, then we're looking at much cooler temperatures and also much wetter weather. So it's going to be something around to keep an eye on very carefully. So that is your forecast discussion for today. Thank you for following NYNJPA weather, and as always, Stay safe out there.